Welcome to the We Are VIP podcast. Each week, your host, Casey Haston, Director of Recruiting at VIP, will bring you valuable insights from thought leaders, introduce you to incredible companies, and bring you tips for landing your dream job from our team of executive recruiters at VIP. And now, Casey Haston. Welcome to the We Are VIP podcast, a podcast devoted to adding value to your career or candidate search, brought to you by VIP. I'm your host, Casey Haston. I'm the executive director. Um, I'm an executive director. I'm an executive recruiter and the director of recruiting with VIP. And I am your host and so excited to be here with you today. And I have to tell you, I'm a little flustered because the guy we have joining us today is such a go-giver and is such a powerful connection for us that I'm just, I'm a little flabbergasted that he said yes to being on the podcast today. So, but we're going to learn why here in just a second. So today on the show, I'd like to welcome Bill Walsh, founder and CEO of Power Team International. Bill brings a wealth of information as he currently runs over 40 companies with over 1,000 employees. Through Power Team International, he works with entrepreneurs and small business owners who are serious about taking their business to the next level. Over the past 20 years, Bill has been serving clients all over the world in the areas of venture funding, small business success, and success coaching and workshops. For four years in a row, Bill has been recognized as one of the top 30 business coaches in the world by Guru Magazine. Welcome to the show today, Bill. Hey, it's an honor to be here. How are you today? I am great, although I will have to tell you it's a little warm under these lights today. Yeah, well, not in Chicago. Just come to Chicago and you can be at the brightest lights you want. All you got to do is open the window and it's plenty chilly here. Oh my goodness. What's the temperature there today? I want to say it's a cool 40, maybe 45, something like that. Oh, I would so welcome that at the moment. <laughs> How's so everything? You're in Dallas, right? We are in Dallas and it's actually starting to cool off just a little bit. Um, you know, but one of the things I like to start the show with, and I think this is so powerful, uh, powerful power team. See what I did there? Um, I like that. <laughs> is I want to talk about how we got connected because I think it is so important that people use their network because we know that 80%, actually I think it's 85% of all new jobs are found through your network. And that's how you and I met was through my network. So how did we meet? So I, I think everything is that it used to be six degrees of separation. Now it's like one or two, yeah. you know, so believe it or not, one of my attendees that came through our Rainmaker business program named Matt Dawson, an incredible entrepreneur and certainly a go as well, uh, had told me, they told me about you and uh, he said, you guys got to get connected right away. And sure enough, within a three-way text at like 11 o'clock at night, the next <laughs> so day we're late. on the phone, how can we help each other, right? And I think the big secret, and, and this is why I, I, there's a lot, is that you already have all the skills and talents. Sometimes you just have to learn to put them into use to help others first. And if you do that, it comes back tenfold. So true. So true. And it was like 11 o'clock at night. It was ridiculous. And I was like, go to bed, Matt, you know, because <laughs> on our text, it was awesome. Which that's not going to happen. We know Matt too well. Oh, yes, we do. We do. So tell me about yourself, how you got to where you are, and tell me about Power Team International. So I was born and raised in the south side of Chicago. I can tell you that we didn't have a whole lot of money. Uh, I can tell you both my parents work full-time jobs. And I did, and I was blessed to be around a family that worked hard, you know, that nothing came for free. And I learned at a very young age that if you weren't willing to work for things you wanted, then you'd watch somebody else have them. But I also learned to be an entrepreneur, uh, whether it was a paper route or cutting grass or uh, racing BMX bikes, I got to be around people that were wildly successful. And sure enough, uh, because of that, I knew that I was probably unemployable. I would mm. not be a good employee. And, and I figured early age, you know what? I got to go on a private jet and I asked the guy, how do you get one of these? And he said, well, you've got to be an entrepreneur. He said, you've got to get behind the cash register instead of always being in front of it. And I think that was the difference for me is that I realized why not be an entrepreneur? And I can tell you that I've had plenty of failures. I tell people all the time, I've been broke and wealthy. Yeah, broke sucks, but you'll always find who your real friends are. And out of high school and college, I became a trader. I traded currency in New York and Chicago. I did turnarounds for a decade. So I'd come fix your company, help you take it public, or I'd help you close it 
and sell the assets. And after 10 years, I was burnt out. And I wrote this down the year 2000 to be more. And sure enough, um, I took a two week vacation, two years. I came back and I launched a product as a marketing partner with GoDaddy, as a channel partner with Franklin Covey. We put together a product called Successfolio. It was a simple business in a box, gave you a business plan, gave you a merchant account. We were about a million short for the market, but I knew the relationships I invest in opened all the doors. And I went back to those relationships Within 20 months, we were in 20 countries selling that little product. We launched an incubator business course called Rainmaker in 05, four day program to help entrepreneurs launch, grow, and build better companies. Work on writing their books, their public speaking, sales funnels, marketing funnels. And it was designed to help us feed the venture fund, which we launched in 07 to fund some of those ideas. And sure enough, we gave them the toughest training ever as an entrepreneur, but it also gave them the opportunity to be around great people to be around opportunities and to really realize what it takes to win. We launched masterminds in 08, inspiration conferences, speaker training programs, internet camps. We became the main sponsor for an event called the Small Business Expo. We brought on with the group AT&T, Google, Facebook, Instagram, all as sponsors. And within three to five years, there was over 80,000 coming out to those. Then we launched masterminds and we launched digital programs, local masterminds, and and now meta stores, stores we can go in and get coaching at malls that we're rolling out in the next year. So it, it, I always tell people that most of the overnight success stories, they're about 10 years in the making. So if you're not willing to put the work into it, and maybe today you're grinding, that's part of the process, everybody. Don't, don't, don't let negative people steer you away from your big goals and dreams. You know what? I love what you just said. And I want to, and out of all of that, because you, you just said a lot, we're going to all have to go back and listen to all of that because it's incredible what you've done and the different directions and the many different venues. You haven't limited yourself to one lane at any time. But I think most importantly is what you said about overnight success took you about 10 years. Right. And so many people think that, oh, all of a sudden, you know, they're number one bestseller and the, you know, author. And it's not like that. I mean, there is so much grind that goes on before that overnight success. It's just you haven't seen them until then. So I love that you brought yeah, that and up. I, and, I think, and I think a lot of times what happens is that, you know, they see some that had massive success overnight. Here, please get this and get this clear. Don't measure your success against anybody else's. Mm. Measure success on your own terms. You never know what they're going through, right? I mean, my daughter got married over the weekend. I would tell you the greatest success you'll have in life is watch your kids grow up and become your heroes. Mm. There's nothing better than that, you know? But but I think people try to, you know, they try to steal your thunder, you know? You'd be surprised that all these people that are your friends on Facebook might not be your friends. And that they might be associates, right? But begin to realize that when you put your head down and you're on path and purpose with a clear vision and you work at it, and you really do have to work at it, and get in the top 10 of your industry, you can literally make incredible change in your life and the lives of people around you. But understand it's a grind. And there's nothing wrong with when it comes to success that you pay full price, you always pay in advance. And, and it's all the work they don't see. I believe success is 10% they see, 90% is, is below the line, just like a glacier. You know, you see 10%, but 90% is where all the magic happens. And, mm. and it's the same for you. You didn't get to react by accident. You got there by working hard at it, being around great people, and then, of course, challenging yourself. Absolutely. And again, I love what you're saying. I almost feel like like this is a private conversation that I needed for me today, you know, because there is a lot going on and there, you know, in, in everybody's life. And it does feel sometimes like it's such a grind. And but I know there's an end point coming and, you know, we've talked about this. You're you know, I've invited you to be a speaker at some of our events. Um, but Super excited. yeah. And but doing that, just getting those events put together, I'm just like, it's there's so much minutia that goes into it. And I'm just like, do I really want to be doing this? But then I know at the end of the day, I'm serving people and that is what I want to be right. doing. And, and, and to your point, you know, when I was named CEO of Success North Dallas, everybody was like, oh, there she is. But they didn't see the work I did for the five years before to build up right. to that. You know, I was Correct. just in the background guiding the operations. And a lot of times they don't realize that work because they've never lived it. Mm -hmm. You know, I always tell people all the time, when they party, you plan. <laughs> you know, when, they bitch, when they bitch, you praise, right? <laughs> 
And when they say, how come I haven't seen you at the club? You say, how come I haven't seen you at the bank? <laughs> so so have, so have some fun with this stuff, right? And, and also, I think it's it's really important that you, you you build great habits. You know, you you begin your days with gratitude. Mm. Gratitude power rock. What are you thankful for? Feed your mind with really good stuff. I like books like Think and Grow Rich. Yep. By I'm Napoleon rereading Hill. that right now. Yeah, Outwitting the Devil is a great book by Sharon Lecter and Napoleon Hill. There's so many great books, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. If you get a chance to pick that one up by Stephen Covey. You know, uh, Crush It by Gary Vanderchuk, right? There are so many good reads there that give you some insight and some wisdom to win. And, and then, of course, you know, what are you great at? Does it serve a lot of people? Is there money in the space? And would you do it for free? Ooh. If you can answer those questions, yes, across the board, then get after it. And I don't ever tell people, man, go quit your job and go live your dreams. Mm -hmm. If you have a great job, stay there for as long as you want to stay there. If you have a great team and a great uh, network and a great corporate culture, but I do recommend you you build a side hustle. I do recommend you take some of your intellectual property and you monetize it. Begin to write a book, begin to create digital products, begin to endorse products, begin to find other ways to generate revenue that comes in because you did something one time. And, and, and today, um, the globe is your is your backyard. You're no longer just in Dallas. We're broadcasting here, Chicago, Dallas being broadcast all over the world. So begin to begin to take your intellectual property and and create some great content that help other people, and then get paid for it. I love that, and you know, and interestingly enough, I think so many people have the idea that you have to do one thing, right? And you were kind of alluding to all the different things that you're doing earlier. And I was having a conversation with somebody the other day and they were like, how many masters do you serve? And I started going through the list and I'm like, wow, I have about six different masters that I serve right now or six different lanes in which I'm pursuing yeah. different activities. Right. And so what are, what are your thoughts on that? Obviously you do that. Do you feel like that's a productive way to, you know, pursue entrepreneurialism? So I'm a huge believer in focus, follow one course until successful. So even though I have an ownership interest in 40 companies, I mainly manage one group of companies, one group of the business, right? I'm not trying to run, wear 40 different hats. And we only invest in companies that sell back to small business. I learned a long time ago that if you try chasing five chickens, you'll starve, right? So figure out what are you really great at and, and get that lane with six lanes of open highly in that industry. You know, be really good in that space because if you do your research, you'll find that the top 10 in every industry outproduce other 90%. Whether it's golf or basketball or tech, the top 10 outproduce the rest. So I highly recommend figure out what are you really great at? Does it serve a lot of people? Is there money in the industry? And would you do it for free? And if you can start answering yes to that stuff, you're going to tap into something called passion, purpose, and power. You're going to be a vision so big that it scares people around you because while you're running they're wondering how you got so fast mm. and the only difference is that you're in the flow they're in the grind when we built the course rainmaker the idea was very simple help people tap into a vision that's so clear that it pulls them outside the comfort zone build a long-term plan build a true strategy around serving customers retaining customers getting referrals using systems versus guessing build great timelines, outsource stuff. You're gonna find the most successful brands that are out there, they're very consistent in what they do. Whether it's McDonald's, the French fire is always on the left. Do you know what I mean? The, their arches don't change in colors. Does that make sense? They stay very consistent. Starbucks, you don't see many blue Starbucks out there, right? Mm -mm. It, it's just not, it's not what their brand is about. So that brand you create is the feeling that's left behind after they've experienced your, your product or your service. And, and there's nothing wrong with going slow, everybody. I know you think you've got to hit it out of the park within three weeks. That's not the case. I'm okay with taking a couple of years, even if up to three or four or five years to build a great business. Amazon lost money for more than a decade. When they launched, they said, we're going to sell you books. They started in the book business. What do they sell you today? Jeff can sell you whatever he wants. <laughs> this that is true. Sure built that database. So it's a big secret today is that do, do your diligence on building a good active community. You can do these things for free. Get a, you can actually, believe it or not, you can launch your own influencer site today at a website called Mingle, M-I-N-G-L dot N-O, cost nothing. 
put up your photo, put all your links to your social media, put links to your day timer. There's a free service called youcanbook.me. Now you've got a day timer and an influencer site that's up no charge. Go to GoDaddy, pay the eight bucks, point it to the influencer site. Go to Canva tonight, get a book cover done. The minute you got a book cover, you got something to talk about. You make an announcement, your book comes out Q2 of 2025. I don't care. The fact that you have a book cover and a book planned gives you something to talk about. Then you can launch a free podcast. It's called Anchor. Download the app and set up your own podcast with only one intent to build good content. Go to Facebook, set up a free community. Not out of your company, but community under your area of expertise because they'll search for that community. In addition to that, business pages off it. You've done all this in hours or four hours. You spent less than 20 bucks, and now you can get yourself out to the marketplace. So you've heard of a service called Haro. Mm-hmm. You can go to Google and type in help a reporter out. But don't do that until you have a book cover coming out. Don't do that until you got a free influencer site and you got a podcast coming. And of course, your podcast is global. Now, you might only have two people on the podcast, but it's still a global podcast. But now once all that stuff is done and you start to get your message out there through media, through radio, through TV, through Internet, now you can use a service called Pingler. It's also like three dollars a month to get on page one of Google organically. So instead of spending all this money on all these experts, learn there's a lot of tools out there that you can get for free or next to free that can really help you expand your brand quickly. If you guys do social media, there's a great app called InShot. It's like 15 a year. You can literally upload your videos, always do one minute videos, always put the call to action inside the video, not in your copy that you post online, and then use InShot, it'll go to your LinkedIn, your Twitter page, your, your Instagram page, your Facebook page, all within minutes and do it twice a week. So by the time you're done, you're getting exposure every day by giving out good content, not trying to sell anything. And if you'll do that, your sales will skyrocket. So at what point in your career did you realize you wanted to coach and educate entrepreneurs? Because I'm just like, my head's just spinning. I'm like, where were you two years ago when I started my business? I've heard that so many times and it doesn't really matter because you might not have been ready for the message. Does that make sense? But I can tell you this, spent all this money on experts, save some of that money and save it for your marketing once your business is ready for growth. If you start spending all this money on marketing, but you don't have a good mobile system set up, you don't have an opt-in page, you don't have a way to take orders, you don't have a way to service the client, then all the money on marketing was wasted. So what I believe is once again, you invest in you being the best you can be in your niche get the systems in place so you're ready for customers, then go to market with that. And when it comes to go to market, it's all out massive action. And I'm not saying all out massive spending, I'm saying all out massive action. Begin to sponsor great events. If you want to expand your brand, the Dallas marketplace, if there's a success North Dallas event, you get there. You don't just show up and try to, I I tell people all the time, they go to do what's called not working. They walk around the room and do spray and pray. Here's my business card. How about say, how can I sponsor something? How can I be a part of the event where I can help bring people? How can I be a part of where I can volunteer maybe, right? Because the more value that you add to networks, the more networks will add value to you. Mm -hmm. And I know this is hard when you're starting out. It's like, no, I just want to get the free ticket and walk around. No, you don't. You always want to go VIP and you want to, can I sponsor a table? Can I invest in buying lunch or desserts for everybody? What can I do to help out? Because you're going to find the more that you serve, the more you're going to earn. And it, and it comes back sometimes 10 to 100 fold because you always have to put yourself around the right people. And that's why I've always been a big believer in invest in great networks. But I knew a long time ago because I could sit with somebody and I could help them with their vision and their mission and their path and their purpose. But then I could line up the money mm-hmm. and I could line up the teams and I could help them execute, help them go to market help them sell it or go public or whatever their plan was going to be uh, because I could see things that people they didn't see in themselves. But it was always from a very frugal standpoint. How can I use better tools than everybody else at the same time save money? So I had money to sponsor events. I had money to invest in other people. And and invest in other people you have. I mean, you've had some fantastic clients and I kind of want to talk about that for just a second. So you have actually coached 
Brian Tracy and Les yes. Brown. I'm like, I, I, I kid you not. I mentioned Les Brown's name in the office the other day, and one, I think one of my coworkers fainted. They're like, you're oh going to talk to Les Brown? I'm like, I'm trying. So, I mean, <laughs> what is it like? Number one, how did you set yourself up to be such an expert that these guys came to you? And I mean, what is what have what have you learned from guys, them? Yeah, so I made so I made all the mistakes. I, I did it all wrong. I made a list of the Fab Ten. Who were ten people that I wanted to be in business with? I wanted to work with. I wanted to serve at a high level. I wanted to make a difference, right? And then I put myself in the right rooms, but I said the wrong things. I used to say, you know, here's what I got and here's what I want. It didn't work. And I found over twenty years ago that if I changed my rap to that from that to here is who I am and here's how I can serve. It opened up all the doors and I began to serve at a high level. I helped them generate revenue. I helped them open connections that turned into big revenue for them. I never asked for a dime. I just knew for a fact that if they liked how I helped them, they would go on video. They would go on social media and tell that this is the guy that coached me through all this stuff, right? You know, if you look at your own brand today, if you look at your own company today, Ask yourself today, how many influencers can I find on YouTube that promote your product or service? Mm. You see, I know if Oprah says she likes your book, you're going to sell a lot of books. Now, I've never done any work with Oprah, but I've helped a lot of people like Les or Brian Tracy or Mark Victor Hansen or John Gray or John Asroff. I've helped them or Sharon Lecter, who is a co-author of Rich Dad Poor Dad. I've helped them increase revenues in their businesses by giving them some insightful things that I could see from the vantage point of the stage. And sure enough, because of that, if you go to YouTube today, you can find all these individuals that'll talk about Bill Walsh or Power Team and how he had a positive impact on their business. And because of that, that was able to go out to other networks, which of course then brought us a lot more customers. So many times that when you're in the room with the right people, don't try to sell them anything. Just try to add value to their life with it, however you can do that and watch how it opens up doors that your 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 checkbook could never open. I, I paid a lifetime. You are speaking my language so clearly. Um, cool. So I want to have a conversation. How do I get you to be my coach? I'm currently on the <laughs> well, market for a coach. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I'm glad to help any way that I can. So the best thing to do is I don't really do a lot of private coaching anymore, not in a long time, unless we fund the companies. But I'm glad to give you some insight. We can definitely have a sit down. We'll have a lunch or a dinner and go through all the things you're working on and help you really fine tune the process. See, I love that about you. Once somebody tells you where they want to go, when somebody tells me where they want to go, I can help line up the teams and the systems and the process and the connections so they get there a whole lot faster. And sometimes what a good coach will do for you is they'll help you avoid the pitfalls. They'll yes. help you avoid the mistakes. You know, one thing you, you just can't buy is wisdom. You have to earn it and live it to really understand it. But boy, once you have that, it's priceless. Because I always ask people, I say, what is the value of one day in your life? What is the value of a month? What is the value of a year? We all have 86,400 seconds every day. That's all you get. And nobody that's listening today would take $86,400 and light it on fire. And if you believe that time is more valuable than money, then the minute you start to value your time, so other people. Mm. And I would and I would tell you this is a game changer for entrepreneurs to start to realize that your your time has a lot of value and don't discount it. If people don't want to pay you for the value of your time, move on. Oh, that's good. That's good. So what do you see in the future for Power Team International? Well, as we've made a global footprint in more than 30 countries, we've invested in a lot of SaaS products that are able to help small business worldwide. And of course, um, we believe that the, the, the small business community is still way underserved. Mm -hmm. So one of our future plans is to open up entrepreneur stores in multiple, on multiple large malls. You know, if there's an Apple store, there should be an entrepreneur store. I don't believe that there's any footprint ever been done that actually serves small business directly. Yet it's still, it's the, it's the, it's the engine that runs America. So when I start to think about that, right, I think that in five years we became one of the top 10 seminar and workshop companies in the country, but I don't think we've even scratched the surface to serve entrepreneurs. So for me, it's, 
you know, to serve 10 million entrepreneurs over the next five years to become even more successful, whether it's through video, whether it's through Zoom trainings, online live trainings, we're committed to all those things. And I, and I think it's really great today that now there are speakers that teach and coach and, and mentor around the world. We're in the process of bringing over 400 coaches that want to help small business in all different areas, because I know for a fact we can bring the traffic, we can bring the people, we can't serve them all, but a network of really good, amazing individuals that can work from home and coach. Your coach could be in Australia, but if they're a great voice coach, you don't have to go see them. They can coach you just like this. What you really want to do is team up with best in class. So our vision over the next five years is really to help another million small businesses create even more success, right? Have more fun, give back more. And to do that, we need a lot of help to make that happen. So we're certainly on a great trajectory right now, and I'm very blessed every day. Um, whether it's our Rainmaker programs or our speaker programs or our mastermind, uh, at the end, I still the small business marketplace is way underserved. And it's our job to get in the top five of that, that space and stay. You know, Bill, I'll tell you, it's not very often that I'm like kind of jealous and want to go work for someone because I work for such a great company. But I'm like, yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe I should ask Trey. Should I quit VIP? I don't know. Just kidding. Not doing that because no, they've been. You can always launch your own products and services, launch your own digital products. People, if you look at the unicorns of the last 10 years, companies with a billion dollar market cap less than five years, They've all done one thing. They've all built active communities. So get a book cover done today, start to talk about that, create some cool digital products, give it all away for free in a, could be in a Facebook community. And then within a year from now, upgrade to a $10 membership. Let them pay for all those videos you're creating of all the good content, you know, because people will pay for good content, but it's your mistake if you don't go to market with your story. We have shirts that say, your story should play, play small, Bill Walsh, right? Because I know that everyone that has walked the earth has a story. And you have a duty to share that story with people because you might impact a whole lot of lives and, and not even know it because you keep your story to yourself. Oh, so true. So true. This has been amazing. I need to move on to our VIP questions. Are you ready? Cool. I'm ready and I can actually give away a gift if you want for everyone today. Whenever you want me to give away a gift, I got a cool gift. Yeah, let's do that after the VIP questions. That's awesome. Let's I did go. not know you were going to do that today. So... If you were chosen to be one of the first colonists on Mars, what three things or people would you take with you? Man, if I had to bring three people with me, right? Well, um, there's no doubt I would have to bring someone that has some great survival skills. <laughs> it's not my expertise, right? So I would bring someone that really understands that, right? Uh, I would have to bring someone that probably was here because they could build things, right? So survival first, someone that can then build and create, and I'd have to bring someone I'd want to spend the rest of my life with. You know what I mean? So I would, I would make sure it was those three would travel with me to Mars. I think that's perfect. <laughs> if you're going to go with people, for sure. So what's one thing you do each morning to set your day up for success? Yeah, I wake up and I thank God for the blessings in my life. Gratitude. Every day I wake up and, I, and, I, and I'm all about gratitude of the people in my life that I'm thankful for. You know, the fact that I woke up today, I'm thankful for that. I'm a huge believer in gratitude power. So if you'll wake up every day, don't pray for things you want, pray for things you're thankful for. Mm -hmm. And I don't care what religion you are, that means nothing to me. I'm, I'm, I'm religious agnostic, you can do whatever religion you want, right? But at the end of the day, I think if you wake up with gratitude power, more comes your way. Just try it. It works. I 100% agree. And I'll go even a step further. I, I not only wake up with gratitude, I go to sleep with gratitude. So I book in my day with gratitude. Yep. I love it. So, all right. So if your life's work was being summarized in a news article, what would the headline be? You know, um, Bill Walsh has impacted millions of entrepreneurs around the world to create even more success. Perfect. Okay, now I'm excited. What's our free gift? <laughs> so if anybody that are listening today have ever seen the movie called The Secret, which oh, maybe some of you have, so I actually wrote a best-selling book. It's actually obvious. Oh. <laughs> so for everyone today, if you'd like a free copy of the book, all you do is text the word obvious. It's right here. Text the word obvious, right, to 26786. All free copies of the digital book.
Okay, say that one more time because you kind of cut up. Cut out. The word obvious to two seven eight six Okay, we'll make seven eight We'll make sure we get that from you and post that in the show notes where we're having a little technical difficulties yeah. there. So now, how do people get in touch with you? How do they find you if they want to participate in your Rainmaker course? Once again, they can text obvious to 26786. Or, of course, um, uh, Facebook, Bill, same hands, different channels. Okay. We're going to. We're going to have to get those handles from you later because, again, you are cutting out on us. So I think we're having some technical difficulties. Oh, no. can, you, um, can you hear me okay? It's still pretty choppy, Bill, but at least we got through the no. meat of it. So we'll get that in the show yeah, notes. So Bill Walsh 360. Bill Walsh 360 is what I think I just heard you say. That's it. Okay. Correct. Perfect. All right, Bill. I have one more thing to say to you. You are a VIP. <laughs> So are you. You are the VIP. And Thanks that's a wrap for having for me today. today. Join us next week here on the We Are VIP podcast. We'd love to know how we can help you be a VIP. To find out more, log on to wearevip.com. Great job. You are awesome. Thanks so much for having me on your 